<laughs> yeah, so my name is Emily and I'm born in Sweden, but I've grown up in Switzerland. Oh. Now I'm in Fukuoka in mm -hmm. Japan, but uh, yeah, and I've been here for three months. Oh, so I not see. a very long time. <laughs> okay, where are you from in Sweden? So I'm from Gothenburg in Sweden. If people have been to Stockholm already, they usually go to Gothenburg because it's the second largest city. Ah, uh, Göteborg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, in yeah. Japanese you say Göteborg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same as in Swedish. It's so funny. Like you say it the same way. Yeah. It's close to Denmark, or more close to Denmark than Stockholm. Fukuoka still feels like a big city, but Gothenburg is like. It's very easy, like, it just takes maybe 20 minutes to cross the city from one end to the other, so oh. it's really compact. What is the famous sightseeing place in Gothenburg? Um, <laughs> what should I see when I go there? I would say just like kind of walking around the, like streets, because there's a lot of small streets mm -hmm. uh, that are really cute with like a lot of cafes and stuff. Uh, oh. There's one area that's called uh, Haga. And it's just like one big street or like one long street with lots of different like small cafes and like restaurants and stuff. Yeah. And it has very like old style, old Swedish style I would say. So it's very cozy and very nice and sometimes there's markets there. So oh. I would say that's the number one place to go. What should I like, try for the foods? Oh, meatballs. Have you ever yeah. heard of Swedish meatballs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God. So <laughs> good. Funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's my favorite Swedish food, so <laughs> yeah, I would definitely say people need to try Swedish meatballs because a lot of restaurants have it as well and cafes, oh. always so good. So yeah, Swedish meatballs and then there's a lot of seafood, mm -hmm. so seafood is really good. We have like this kind of toast, like yeah. toast with like a seafood mix on top oh. and it's crazy good. It's called Toast Skagen. Uh -huh. So if anyone goes to Sweden, they need to try it. <laughs> no sure streaming streamings, right? No. <laughs> if I think about a Swedish fish, I just automatically think yeah. about sure streaming. We're quite we're quite <laughs> famous for sure streaming, but I can't say I would recommend it. <laughs> but if you want to try it, you should do it. Yep, okay. it could be an experience. <laughs> So you've tried a lot of uh, Japanese foods? Yes, I love Japanese food in general, so I've eaten a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, so what's your favorite Japanese foods? Uh, I would say it's been changing recently. Mm. I used to love takoyaki, like crazy a lot. But recently I really liked the cold soba. Wow. So, so that's my favorite, I would say now. How about like a tonkotsu ramen? I do love <laughs> <famous>. tonkotsu ramen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I absolutely love it. but. Mm, I would say like I've had that quite a lot, so I think soba is something more new for me. That's why I prefer it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I love any kind of ramen, kind of. So. Thank you for joining my channel this time. No worries. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, we will try um, shogayaki, which is like yeah. ginger pork. I had never heard of it before. Actually, it was my first time hearing about it. Now we use mentioned it so i'm excited to try it you got the takeout bento from <laughs> yayoi ken takeout <laughs> it's actually right across the street from my apartment so it's kind of perfect <laughs> open it yeah, yeah let's let's open it let's see looks really good i love these ones here in japan they always make it look so pretty <laughs> oh you changed the uh, rice I guess this is like healthy version. Right. So I really like this rice here in Japan. So oh. I usually choose it whenever I can. <laughs> but it's yummy. So right. I got this one. Okay, so here it is. Looks so good. I'm so excited to try this pork. And there are some uh, kind of spinach and deep fried tofu and carrots. Oh, yeah. I love that. I've had yeah. that before. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. So I'm excited to try this now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smells like, yeah, it does smell like ginger, but it smells so good. I'm so excited to try this. There are some bean sprouts and onions, and onions. with yes. pork. I love this mix. Yeah. I love bean sprouts and onion and yeah, <laughs> so. Itadakimasu. All right. Itadakimasu. Let's see, looks so good. Okay. Oh, this is so good. Oh, it's so juicy. Mm. Oh, I love this. It's really fresh as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
The sauce is so good mm. with the ginger. I love that in Japan. It's quite common to have sides like this, right? Like bento box. Yes. Style. It's pretty typical. Mm. 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 Oh, but I'm definitely gonna order this again sometime. This is so <laughs> good. And the price is pretty cheap, right? You only pay like 500 something, right? Oh my god, yeah, 570 and I was so shocked at the price, like... <laughs> so good quality meat as well and everything. I always get so surprised by prices here in Japan. If I compare like going out to restaurants and stuff to Sweden, oh. Sweden is so expensive compared to Japan, so... <laughs> and also I feel like in Japan I've never had like bad food experience actually going to restaurants. I feel like it's always really good quality food, although it's cheaper. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I'm so full now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to improve my accent, but... <laughs> no, I really like the shogayaki just because this is kind of like what I usually prefer eating because it had bean sprouts and onions so it feels very fresh and very like filling at the same time. I don't know, I really loved it just because the sauce was so good with it. Also eating the rice with just the sauce was so good. So, so okay. if anyone misses Japan, I would definitely recommend shogayaki. Shogayaki? When me and my boyfriend were in Australia, we wanted to start a YouTube channel just because we were having a good time in Australia and we kind of wanted to show our lives there and also our life as an international couple. My boyfriend likes to prank me, so he's done a lot of that recently. <laughs> They're funny, but I don't like it when it happens to me. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much.